house guests, welcome to today's BB Can 6 updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is Paula Boone. Paula, thank you so much for the support. We really, really appreciate it, and we hope you're having a great Thursday. <laughs> today's Thursday. And if you guys want to be house guests of the day like Paula, check out our Patreon link in the info box below. All right, so where are we at? Uh, as, as of the end... <laughs> Of yesterday's spoiler, that sounds so weird, Johnny the Compiest Master Manipulator had convinced everyone to keep him this week. Wait, that didn't make sense with what I said before. By the end of yesterday's spoiler, <laughs> there we go, Johnny convinced everybody to keep him, including Derek and Kayla. What? And the icing on top of the cake. Each group thinks that they're responsible for making it happen. Freaking unbelievable i cannot believe how masterfully johnny has navigated this week it's insane um but anyway <laughs> let's talk about what else has been going on in the last day or so paris is ready to break away from dayla if kayla doesn't want any choice okay <laughs> she has been hearing um a lot lately that kayla's been talking about her with other people so here's like the most recent thing that happened kayla told maddie that Paris is like the third in each group. So I mean, she's been saying this to a few people now, like Liv and Allie, but now she's saying it to Maddie. So Maddie brought this back to Paris, and Paris is like, oh, Al uh, yeah, Allie probably said this to Kayla because Allie's been talking about Paris for a while. But um, Kayla's been onto your crap for a while too. Okay, so okay. So then Paris talks to Allie in the red bedroom, and she's like, Allie, I don't really buy into this. <clears throat> But, a couple of people have been telling me that you've been saying I'm the third to a bunch of duos. That puts a target on me, so that's not really something I like hearing. So Allie's like, that's funny because that was actually said to me by someone else. That did not come from me. So she's like, okay, uh, who said that to you? Johnny? Maddie? Kayla? And Paris admits, it came from Kayla indirectly there was one person in between there she's talking about maddie but she doesn't name her so paris is like i just want to make sure that the people i'm working with are not putting a target on my back i think that should actually read the people i'm pretending to work with <laughs> come on um so ali's like i don't remember for sure where i heard this but i'm pretty sure it was kayla who said that to me and she says Kayla's trying to turn us against each other. And Paris is like, well, I know that my chances of making it far in this game are much better if I'm working with you and Liv. So, like, I'm cool with you guys. And she also says Kayla has told her a bunch of times not to trust Allie or Liv. She said that you guys talk crap about me all the time and blah, blah, blah. I mean, they do, but, <laughs> you know. So Paris is saying, I don't believe them. Um, you know, I don't believe what I'm hearing about you guys, but be careful what you say to Kayla because she talks a lot. So Allie's like, good to know. I'm glad you brought this up with me. And this eventually turns into, we need to go after Dela next, even if it's not a triple eviction. So Paris is really trying to push this with Allie and Liv. Um, she's also trying to push it with her own people and people seem pretty receptive to it. We'll see what actually happens, though. It's going to depend on who wins that HOH tonight. And I don't know. Do you think that Paris would actually go through with it if she won HOH? She's big talks right now, but is that just her trying to persuade people, or would she actually go through with it? All right. So then Johnny was talking to Derek in the HOH, and this was just hilarious. Johnny is acting like he doesn't already have all of the votes locked down to stay. So he's like, I feel like no one's really committing their votes to me. Everybody's being really wishy-washy. And he tells Derek, I would appreciate anything you could do to help me stay. Even if you just tell people that, like, you're cool with them keeping me. Like, giving your HOH blessing. Because you know, when it's like a sheep season, everybody wants to make sure that it's okay with the HOH before they actually do something. So Derek's like, yeah, all these people have been talking to me all of a sudden. Um, they're asking what I want to happen because I'm the HOH. So he says nobody wants to be on the wrong side of the vote. And then he says this golden nugget. <laughs> Not the one in Las Vegas. He says, I feel like right now I have the potential power to keep you in this house. Oh my god! 
Thank you so much for the laugh. I really needed that. Oh my god, he actually thinks that he's like in control of this and he is influencing everybody with how they're voting. That is precious. So Johnny's like, okay, well, what's holding you back? Like, let's make this happen. And Derek's like, I want to know that you're going to be on my team if you stay. And Johnny's like, listen, bud, <laughs> if you help me stay, I will be super appreciative and return the favor. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Come on. Um, you remember when Johnny was talking about sinking his sharpened teeth into Dela's neck? Yeah. So anyway, um, Derek is like, okay, this is awesome. I feel really good about this. I'm going to work on getting those votes locked in for you. <laughs> so then Kayla joins them, and they all talk about working together and, like, protecting each other in the triple eviction if it happens because they feel like, let's face it, we're the biggest targets in the house. We got to look out for each other. How did Johnny keep his composure during this? I, I don't even know. He should, number one, stay this week, obviously. Number two... Nominate him for an Oscar, a Tony something. I don't know, because that acting was just... All right, so also Derek, Mr. Last Man, Person, whatever, to the party, is also going to feel responsible for Johnny staying this week. Wow, that is wild. So the three of them are like, this is a reset for us. They're doing hugs all around to celebrate their new trust and their game together starting over. Okay, so <laughs> Derek like goes to work for Johnny trying to get these votes secured. So he has like bro beer time with Will, which is just like, oh, gross. I hate these like boys club things that they do. And Derek is like, I think we should keep Johnny. And Will's like, okay. <laughs> he already decided on that, but he's playing along. And then Derek and Kayla both talk to Maddie separately. They lock in her vote. Um, Derek talks to Allie and Liv. And again, everybody's playing along like they weren't already on board. L-M-F-A-O. So then whenever Derek leaves the room, they're all freaking laughing at him because he thinks that this was his doing. But then we're laughing at them as they take credit for it themselves. It's insane. All I have to say is like, bravo, Johnny. This is so beautiful. Um, but on the other side of things, it's kind of sad because everyone is also BSing Ryan about their votes. That makes me so sad. He has no idea at this point that the vote flipped. And then last night, like right before bedtime, Paris chats with Ryan in the backyard. And he's like, I just want to check in, make sure everything is good. And it was kind of like, it reminded me almost of like Ross asking Omarosa if like the country was going to be okay. And <laughs> she was like, no, we're not going to be okay. <laughs> oh. So Paris is like, you know what, I'm going to tell you this right now. Please don't throw me under the bus for telling you, but... Everybody's on the fence right now. She said they're all saying that they're going to tell me how they're going to vote tomorrow morning. And Ryan looks very confused. He's like, why is no one making up their mind? I am up on the block against the biggest threat to win this whole thing. Why is this happening? So Paris is like, I've been sticking my neck out for you a lot this week. But if everybody else votes for you to go, I can't be the only vote to save you. Because that is just going to like tank my game. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. So, again, she's saying, please don't throw me under the bus, but people are bullshitting you. And he's just like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! What is he gonna do now? You know, everybody's going to bed. So, whew. But seriously, Paris, go get that jury vote, right? So then today, Ryan gets up and he's like, man, I was tossing and turning all night. Gee, I wonder why. He's really upset and scared. So Ryan was talking to Will this morning in the white bedroom, and he's like, if I can get you to keep me, then I'll stay this week. Because he's like, everybody is waiting for someone to say what they're gonna do. He doesn't realize that everybody's already decided that he's gonna go. But he's like, Will, I need you to say what you're gonna do, because then if you say that you're keeping me, you'll have Paris, and then I can bring your your names to Allie and Liv because he says that Allie and Liv want to vote jo Johnny out, but they want to make sure that they're going to be on the right side of the vote. So if they hear that Will and Paris are voting to keep him, they will as well, which is not the case. So Ryan just keeps trying to get Will to commit to vote to keep him, 
and Will just won't do it. But he's also not saying that he's voting him out either, which I think is really shitty and like cowardly. And do you understand how the jury works? <laughs> Why are you dragging this out and leading him on like that? It's really messed up. So Ryan is then like, Will, I feel like you, me, and Paris could go to the final three together. And Will's like, um, no, because you would just choose Paris for final two. And Ryan is like, yeah, but you would do the same thing. So what's the issue here? Alright, so Ryan, of course, is like, I would never put you guys up. I'm white room all the way. And then Will brings up um, a million years ago last week when <laughs> Ryan voted him out. And Ryan's like, that wasn't so much me voting you out as it was a sympathy vote for Erica. I think it was a sympathy vote for Erica, but at the same time, it's not going to make Will want to keep him this week so Will's like all right whatever I need to talk to Paris Allie and Liv and then I'll let you know what I'm gonna do later he's gonna vote you out okay so Ryan must be really desperate because then he goes and campaigns to Maddie it doesn't work uh she confirms that she is gonna be voting him out no matter what anybody else is doing and he's like all right great um please just don't become like an active campaigner for me to go and Maddie says she won't she doesn't need to. It's already done. Okay, so then Allie and Liv are chatting in the bathroom area. And Liv tells Allie that Ryan asked her if he was good with her vote. And she said, yeah. And then she said to Allie, F jury management. I don't care. Damn! That is like the most Olivia thing I've ever heard. But seriously, what are you, what are you doing? So then Ryan talks to Paris. And I think this is where he finally like comes to terms with like, oh shit, I'm going home. So... Paris is like, I really want to keep you, but Will is not budging. So Ryan's like, oh, so he has decided Will is voting to keep Johnny? That's dumb shit. So he's like, I told Will the truth about my vote last week, and Johnny lied to him for half a day. And Ryan just starts venting because he's pissed that nobody's going to give him a solid answer. Um, and he feels like this is ridiculous that he's going to be going home against the biggest threat in the game. It just doesn't make sense. So Paris is like, yeah, they're all bullshitting you. Um, she doesn't say, like, everybody's voting you out, but she's like, they're bullshitting you. They know what they're going to do. So Par uh, Ryan seems to be really angry at Will, especially, because they're supposed to be, like, buds or whatever, I guess. So... He's warning Paris, you need to be careful with Will. You need to watch your GD back with him. Um, and he told Paris, I would have flipped to the other side of the house a long time ago if I had known that Will was going to be like this. But he told me to trust him, and I did. Right? So then Ryan says that the jury will be poisoned for certain people, and he's going to be sewering people's games, which sounds like a lot of fun, but if you think about it, like, how much influence did Ryan have while he was in the house? <laughs> Why would that change in the jury house? Like, I wouldn't be too worried about it, but he says to Paris, like, you're not somebody that has to worry about that. I'm going to be in your corner. So then Paris is crying. She feels really bad, and Ryan's telling her don't cry. Um, he's really grateful that she warned him about this, and Ryan is telling her, it would make me really happy if you took out Dela. So Paris is like, I want that too. She says Kayla is on to her. She's been talking about her a lot with other people. And she is the biggest liar in the house. Mm, I think there's quite a few people up for that. <laughs> so Ryan says that he's going to try to put a big target on Kayla on his way out. He was talking about like saying something about her when he's like walking up the stairs to leave. But like... I mean, Kayla already has a huge target on her back, right? So he says he's going to be rooting for Paris and Johnny. Okay. So then Ryan was chatting with Johnny on the living room couch, and you can tell at this point he's, like, accepting that he's going. He knows. There's nothing that he can do at this point to change it. So he's telling Johnny, this is how you get my jury vote. I want you to play hard. I want you to own up to your shit when you make it to the end. And, uh, yeah, have a good time. <laughs> so then Ryan is, like, asking Johnny for, like, some info that he can think about in the jury. He wants some insider info. Um, but Johnny politely declines. No, I don't feel comfortable doing that. Because you never know what could happen. What if there's, like, some sort of buyback and, like, Ryan comes back? But no. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. 
The feeds went down at 3 p.m. Uh, unless something insane happens, Ryan should be going tonight by a vote of 6 to 0. And then the HOH competition is going to be interesting. The house guests, a lot of them are thinking that tonight's going to be a triple. To my knowledge, it's not. <laughs> unless they pull some, like, surprise shit, it's not. Um, but yeah, it looks like Kayla and Derek are going to be in a lot of trouble unless Kayla can win this HOH. But at the same time, I don't think they're as in as much danger as they would be if it's a triple. Because people are still kind of afraid to take a shot at them um, in a single eviction. Because then the other one would still be there. So, I don't know what's going to happen. But let me know who you guys are rooting for for HOH in the comments. I think it would be really fun to see Johnny win. Just because, like, we love that power flip, right? Um, yeah, that'd be fun. So, <laughs> let me know what you guys think in the comments. And until tomorrow, much love.